Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got another idea with the SVG import tool. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to build our future SVG super quick. I'm going to make a real simple Chevy logo. I'm going to set this to five high. I'm going to take that one and duplicate it. I'm going to rotate that one in 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the blue circle, it is super simple. I'm going to stretch it longer, do a line, and I'm going to center them on that one right there. Now we need to cut off the ends. I'm going to do that with a cube. When I bring the cube out, I'm going to make it quite a bit longer just so I'm sure it reaches. And I'm going to cut it at 22 and a half degrees and just find that spot right there. Control D, shift nudge to the other side. And then I'm going to get it into that same spot where it's just cutting through that bottom corner. So friends, this is not meant to be perfect. It's just meant to show you something kind of cool. There is my Chevy logo. What if I want it to be hollow? Here's the idea. Export SVG. I'm going to put it in downloads and call it Chevy. It's already named because I had named my project. And then, friends, we are going to do import, choose file, and we're going to find that same one. Downloads, Chevy. And this time when we bring it in, we choose art, import, and we can take our logo and instead give it an outer line and bam just like that we have cut it out the exact way you want change your numbers to two so friends that's how easy it is to take any shape you make export it as an svg and then use the sweet built-in tools to make it into an outer line inner line all these cool things you can even hit duplicate again I'm going to make it a different color. Let's go with a lovely blue. And this time I'm going to set it back to default. And when I line them, they'll actually line up perfect. Center, center. It's just so cool, so easy, and I think it's a skill. You're going to find tons of reasons to use. Friends, of course, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech.